So Zoe, good afternoon. Thanks for taking out time to chat to me. I hope you're well today. Very well, thank you, Jill. Yes, thank you for inviting me to come on and do this. You're very welcome. So I, it's just really a, a bit of a uh, your thoughts about the process last year with regard to the Successful Women Awards, because you were the winner of the teaching award. And that was a big surprise, <laughs> I have to say. Um, I mean, my thoughts about it, I, it, it kind of, it made me focus it really made me focus on all those things that I do right, which is, I guess, what we're not very good at doing. Indeed. Um, and in doing that, I was able to self-reflect and, and give myself um, some opportunity to celebrate some of those small successes, the, the small victories that we have, as well as the big ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it was a very positive experience for me. Okay, and and I seem to recall that somebody we both know nominated you. Is that were you sort of forced into it? Is it the sort of thing you would normally have done? No, it's not the sort of thing I would normally have done, um, and I wasn't aware that I'd been nominated either. Mm. Um, but it actually came. It came as a really pleasant surprise, oh, good. and I was. It, it was a perfect timing for me because I just I was recovering at home from a minor surgery, okay. and it was it just gave me that boost that I needed, and I was able to sit down and really think carefully um, about my role in teaching and about what it is that I do, um, in a way that I guess even in 13 years of teaching I'd not really done before. It, it just pushed me gently into um, a different mindset and um, I was actually really appreciative of that. Excellent and what about the award ceremony itself? Oh the award ceremony was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the award ceremony was um, I guess I was a little bit nervous before I arrived because I didn't know what to expect um, but as teachers we are very used to networking um, when we go off to conferences or of um continuing professional development opportunities courses we do network with our teachers and and it felt just like that it felt um like there was a, a big group of people who um all had a whole host of information skills experience to offer and they were very warm very welcoming um and all the way through, I, 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 I did not feel out of place. I thought I was going to. That was yeah. my concern because yeah. I'm a teacher and I'm not in business. Yeah. Um, and I thought I would feel out of place. But from the moment I stepped through, uh, stepped through the door, it, it was, yeah, it was a wonderful experience. Brilliant. People were very, very kind Good. and and keen to hear what I'd been doing as mm. well. And you know, we we were able to discuss things. Um, on it felt like it was on a level playing field excellent oh i'm so pleased good and what about the process itself because i emailed out to you to say you'd be nominated and would you apply and go through that any thoughts on that um yes there was there was the initial oh good grief <laughs> <laughs> really um and it didn't take me long to to make the decision that okay i might not be good at thinking about what it is that I do well um, it's not something I'm used to doing but this is something that I am going to do because it will be good for me um, and yes I, I went ahead and and sat down just literally with a scrap of paper to begin mm. with and just jotted a few notes down um, and actually as I started doing that I, I found myself thinking well actually well I have done this and, and my students have managed that and and if it wasn't for me um, navigating them through this they may never have actually found their way to, to achieving what they had achieved and that for me that was really empowering Brilliant. to be able to, to kind of think through that process I don't think having somebody tell me that um, would have felt the same. I think it was something that I had to discover for myself. Super. That's great. Uh, and then finally, I guess, any thoughts or tips for anybody else who might be listening or watching you at the moment on the website going, shall I, shan't I? <laughs> really? I mean, uh, yeah, you, you just need to go for it because um, because we aren't very good at, you know, holding our hands up. Well, not everybody. Some people are different. Everybody's different. But, a lot of us are not very good at holding our hands up and saying, um, 
hey, I've done this, I've done, I've done that, um, and then guess what else I've done? Um, it's it's positive because it gets you into the right mindset. Um, it changes the way you think about your role. Um, and actually, the spring the spring in my step, even before the ceremony, the, the award ceremony, even before winning. The spring in my step that that had given me just to know that I'd been nominated, just to know that somebody had had enough value or felt that there was enough value in what I did um, to put me forward for it um, made me feel different. And I think when you feel differently about something, you respond differently to the people around you and your colleagues. And for me, being in school, my students. Um, So, yes, I think. I would say definitely go for it. Don't be frightened of um, that self-reflection because self-reflection in any industry is going to be important because it it helps you to progress and move on. So, um, yeah, take the risk. Take the risk. Face the fear if there is a fear there and and just really go for it because it's so fulfilling and very empowering. Um, Yes, that would be my biggest piece of advice. Brilliant. Thank you. That's so good, Zoe. Thank you.